Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make an American flag themed birdhouse. Now this is a pretty simple uh, design and it's a pretty simple project. Instead of using larger pieces of wood, I'm using one by twos, which I got down at the local uh, Home Depot. I used red stain for half of them, and I like stain better than paint. I just like to see the wood grain. Um, I made that stain just by adding a little bit of um, red oil-based paint into some clear stain. And then I glued these all together with wood glue and I clamped them uh, using some uh, clamp vices. And I'm really just making the raw material. Uh, the particular design of the birdhouse doesn't matter. You can do any, any design you want. Um, I rubbed off any excess glue that seeped you know, out from in between each board uh, with a, a damp cloth. And then I let these dry overnight. And what I ended up with was two boards uh, that I could then cut up and make into the birdhouse. So using a table saw, I cut 45 uh, degree angles on both sides of both boards. And I gotta be honest, I, I ended up changing the design of this uh, birdhouse midway through the build. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute birdhouse actually started out bigger than it's going to end up being. So now that I've got 45s on both sides of that board, I can cut that down to length, which will be the height of the birdhouse that I want to make. I just used a, a chop saw for that. And then I can cut the angle on the top you know, for the roof, the roof angle. I'm just using a, a circular saw, but you could use a chop saw uh, any, any way that you wanted to do it, e even a jigsaw. Just be careful. You want, you want both pieces to be exactly the same. And then I'm also going to use that, that chop saw uh, just to, to cut the sides to length. So now I've got the front and back and both sides. And I'm just going to glue these up, and then I'm going to um, let them dry, holding them together with a little bit of uh, painter's tape. But when I, when I assembled this, I realized that the birdhouse uh, that I had in my mind was, was way too big for the tree that I had planned on putting it into. Um, I started on the roof, and the roof I am going to use a, a larger piece of wood. This is a, a, some scrap 1x10 that I had around. And I glued and tacked that on into place. And then I'm just going to draw some, some curves along both sides and the top because I want to make this uh, roof almost like a flag, like a waving flag. So I'm going to use a disc grinder with a grinding tool. And I'm going to start to slowly sand away or grind away those grooves. And then I'll round it off you know, with an oscillating sander and an 80 grit paper. And this is going to give me the illusion of a waving flag. Uh, the, the roof portion of this birdhouse is going to be dark blue, and the stars, I want to be able to see the wood grain through. So I'm not going to paint that the stars white. I'm going to actually have the wood grain as the stars. As I mentioned before, I realized that this birdhouse was too big, uh, so I'm just going to I'm just going to cut it down. I was able to bang off uh, both roof pieces and, and save those. And I just went back to the table saw and, and cut off each corner. So I ended up with, again, four flat pieces of wood. And then I'm just going to cut those down, you know, a little bit smaller. As I mentioned before, you know, this is really showing you how to make a patriotic themed birdhouse. It doesn't matter the size, whatever, whatever size that you want. Um, you're going to end up with a front and a back that are going to have angles cut for the roof and two sides that are basically rectangular. All of those pieces will have the 45s cut on both sides. They get assembled the same way that I showed earlier with some wood glue and some tape. Um, I was able to, resal to salvage uh, those roof pieces that I had started. And it doesn't even matter what angle you use for the, re the, the, for the roof uh, because they're not going to meet up. I'm going to use a, a piece of dowel as kind of the ridge beam. Now, to do the stars, I printed out self-adhesive vinyl stars 
or I cut them out on my Silhouette Cameo machine. You can actually buy these on Etsy. And I'm going to spray paint the roof with a royal blue. I got this spray paint at the local uh, Ace Hardware. And then I'm going to let that dry completely. And then when I peel off those stars just with a little, um, you know, just a, a little bit of effort and a pair of tweezers, at, that's going to expose the wood, um, the wood grain underneath it will show up as the stars. I drilled a uh, inch and a quarter hole for the birds uh, with a speed bore. And I'm going to just uh, glue that ridge pole in place with a, again with a little bit of wood glue. I cut a piece to fit uh, the bottom and I just glued that in and I also uh, tacked it in with some finishing nails. And then just to, to finish this off, I added a little bit of blue to the bottom. Just a couple thin strips. And I glue, <clears throat> excuse me, I glued those and also uh, tacked them in place with some finishing nails. That bottom piece, I also ended up drilling some drainage holes through. Now I'm going to seal it all with Thompson's water seal. Uh, because I use stain, I didn't want to use um, you know, polyurethane or something that would yellow in the sun. This is the finished product, uh, a patriotic American flag themed birdhouse. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd like to give you an invite to uh, check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com. I've got a whole bunch of patriotic themed uh, do-it-yourself crafts on there. Uh, by all means, check it out. Thank you very much for watching.